Now let me just say at the moment, when you look at this car deforming, there it is in slow-mo, you wouldn't find a circuit anywhere that you could actually run absolutely square on into an immovable object like this. Again, this is done for creating an imprint of the forces of that car. So the chassis rails, the engine, all of that stuff has left an imprint on that wall. And if you have a look in this next shot, you might even be able to see the wall. It's actually made up of 100 by 100 millimeter load cells. So as the car goes into it, there it is, they actually get data from that to create the information they need. Now what they'll do from this test is they'll actually go and build a little trolley and that trolley will replicate the forces that that car has put into the wall so then they can use that trolley for further research without having to use cars. And look at this, they actually have a glass floor underneath the car so they can see what's happening with the gearbox, the engine. Now as we get the up close shot from underneath the car you can see the different components of the car, look at that, very specifically leaving a print and that important data on different parts of the wall. The fascinating thing for me is that that research test was not about the car or the dummy inside it. It was purely about leaving that fingerprint of forces on that wall so further research can be done. All in the name of motorsport safety. Gotta love it.